Driving in Kigola, the Adamawa state capital, one is welcomed by the ongoing construction of the first ever gigantic flyover in Yola, the Adamawa state capital, at the Poplar Total Junction. A project which started nearly two months ago is advancing at a surprising and an impressive pace. At the same time, the governor is constructing the first ever grid interchange and underpass flyover, the first in the northeast region of the country. A perceived audio project by skeptics turned visual. Adamawa, the land of beauty, is gradually regaining its lost glory. All these are being executed amidst the biting economic reality occasioned by the COVID-19 pandemic. Governor Fintri is also constructing many township roads across the length and breadth of the state's capital, as well as local government headquarters, many of which have been completed. Recently, the governor paid an unscheduled visit to the ongoing project sites. The governor, accompanied by the State Commissioner for Works and Energy Development, Honorable Adamu Atiko Abubakar, is here to see for himself the level of progress be made by contractors. Everywhere he goes attracts joy, fulfillment and accolades from the people. A testament of his growing popularity and bond of friendship between him and his people. Uh, I've gone out this evening to get myself satisfied uh, with the job we are doing for the good people of this state and we have seen it, you've seen it and everybody has seen it and uh, it's progressing well as expected and I believe we are making a very appreciable progress in the job for the good people of Adamo. Uh, some of these bridges, some of the roads were supposed to be a completion period of uh, 18 months but uh, less than five months you can see they are almost going 60-70 percent so that means they are ahead of time. That means also their money has to be paid as they progress. The governor is also constructing access road network across rural communities in Adamawa. Today, rural dwellers now have easy access to transport their goods and services in and out of their communities. Even as Governor Ahmadu Umaru Fintri continued to first lift Adamawa to compete favorably with other developing states, the governor has also not left out other sectors from his 11-point policy documents. As security, education, health, among others are today given topmost priority. Unlike anything else, workers in Adamawa can now be rest assured that between 22nd to 23rd of every month, their salaries will be paid. Hence, he was nicknamed ATM Governor by Adamawa workers. A break from the norm where state workers and local government staffs have had to endure months without salaries. <laughs> In just less than two years of his administration, the People's Amiable Governor is truly turning Adamawa into the land of beauty, standing tall in the heart of the ancient Fombina Kingdom. <laughs>